I wanted to give you some views on this cool morning of October 21st, 2009 of the Sir Christopher Wren building, uh, the oldest continuously in use uh, university building in the United States. And uh, the building was built between 1699 and 1695 and 1699. And um, was uh, burnt down several times and uh, different portions had to be constructed at different times. And it was extensively restored between I think about 1928 and 1935 with the financial generosity of John D. Rockefeller Jr., who was uh, the, the primary benefactor behind the uh, restoration of Colonial Williamsburg. There are many, many historic plaques here. This one here, alumni of the College of William and Mary, prominent in establishing the American Union, and alumni include George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, George White, who was a signer of the Declaration of Independence, John Tyler, who also I think became a, an American president. So there are some very, very important um, alumni that came out of this university here. Let me give you some views here. It's basically a U-shaped building. Interesting is the brick. Uh, the brick is, uh, I think the design of it is called Flemish Bond, which is sort of this interesting mixture of red brick and blue brick interspersed in between. And let me see here. The priorities of the College of William and Mary, chartered February 8, 1860, 1693, by King William and Queen Mary. Main building designed by Sir Christopher Wren. First college in the United States in its antecedents, which go back to the college proposed at Henrico in 1619. Second to Harvard University in actual operation. First American college to receive its charter from the Crown under the seal of the Privy Council, 1693. Hence it was known as Their Majesty's Royal College of William and Mary first and only American college to receive a coat of arms from the College of Heralds in 1694, first college in the United States to have a full faculty consisting of the president, six professors, usher, and writing master in 1729, first college to confirm medallic prizes, the gold medals donated by Lord Bob Tuart in 1791, 1771, and so forth. First college to have the elective system of study in 1729. First college to have the honor system 1729 or 1779. First college to become a university in 1779. Also the first one to have a school of modern languages 1779. School of municipal and, cons and constitu constitutional law 1779. Political economy 1784. And first college to have a school of modern history 1803. Very, very historic place here. The College of William um, and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia.